Okay, guys, I'm not gonna waste too much time getting into this video. If you're here, it's because Valve just banned jump throw scripts, but if you have a wooting keyboard, you can get around their ban pretty easily. Um, and we're gonna use dynamic keystrokes to do that. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that here. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show a method where you can do this without a wooting keyboard and it's pretty easy. Uh, it's very low tech. So stick around to the end of the video to find out how to do that. So I already have these binds, so I'm just gonna delete them really quick. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is a, just a standard jump throw. And then after that, I'll show you how to do a W jump throw because those are pretty useful for like Mirage window smokes or um, ancient house smokes. Uh, from T-Spawn, so. so. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure you're on beta.wutility.io. I'm pretty sure you can do this on the normal one, but uh, I'm just on the beta here because the UI is a little better. And you'll start off here and you're gonna go to advanced keys and hit dynamic keystroke. And then you're just gonna click on your spacebar here. I use spacebar, um, whatever key you use, just uh, everything I do on spacebar, just do on that key. I don't know why it says F13 here, I'll get rid of that. Okay, so for jump throws, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just gonna put space bar here. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick three keys that aren't used. And so Wooting has a really cool uh, implementation of this with the uh, extended F keys. And uh, these are bindable in Counter-Strike if you didn't know. So I'm gonna pick F14, 15, and 16 here. Okay, and so on this bind, it doesn't really matter as much, but what I do here is at the very top, my key press is at two millimeters. That's like the standard actuation. And then key release, I'm gonna set it to 2.1 millimeters. And the reason is because you just wanna be unpressing jump while you do the bind. Uh, that's how it works with wooting uh, with this dynamic keystroke feature. Okay, so now that we have that done, uh, you've got spacebar F14 and F15. We're gonna click these two right here and then click right here for F16. And so quickly, I'm gonna show you the config that I used to make this. Okay, so this is similar to making an auto exec file. Uh, you're going to go to this file path up here. There's going to be a big text on the screen that shows you. Make sure that you're in game slash CSGO slash CFG. I'm just going to make a new text document here. You don't have to name it anything. And then I'm going to paste this into here. This first part is for the jump throw. And then this is for the W jump throw. So I'm going to show that after. And so as you can see in this file, this file isn't done yet, but spacebar F14, F15, and F16. You can use like, I don't know, F13, whatever, whatever you wanna do if you wanna modify it, but uh, this is what I have here. Okay, and I'm just gonna save this as a new file. So at the end here, I'm gonna write host, write config, um, just so it's uh, saving to our game. Okay, and this will be included in the description, by the way. So I'm gonna go file, save as, and then see how we're in this game CSGO CFG folder still. Uh, I'm just gonna change this to all files, and then I'll call this J throw or something like that. And the .cfg is needed to make this a .cfg file. So I'll hit save. And then you can see it right here. So you can see that it's a CFG file. Okay, so our space bar is done. And so if you just do jump throws or just wanna hit W and jump throw at the same time, um, like this, right, where you, you press W um, and jump throw, then this will work. But if you want a specific bind for W jump throws, which uh, a lot of people use in the current meta, um, then that's what I'm gonna show you next. Okay, so we're gonna do another dynamic keystroke and I like to have mine on N. Uh, it's just an easy key for me to hit with my thumb. You, a lot of people might have it on B or like V or something, it doesn't matter. N, you're just gonna substitute in the bind in case you change it to another key. Okay, so I hit continue. And the reason I do it like this uh, and not another way is that it makes the keyboard still usable um, even when you're not playing the game, but you you know you want to type something out and it's not spamming N or a bunch of random other letters since these keys don't do anything on Windows natively. So unless you have like F16 and all this stuff bound to something that uh, in Windows, you know, uh, it's not going to really, you're not even going to notice it while you're using your PC. All right, so I'm going to do something similar at the top here, make this uh, 2.1 right here. And then this will be 2.1, okay, perfect. And then N, uh, I'm gonna put it like this. It's important that you do it like this and not like just a blip. You have to have it fully like this. Uh, you, you can test if it doesn't work like uh, like this, but this is how I got it to work on my game. So, okay, so we're gonna use different keys than what we did at the start. So I'm gonna use F17, F18, and F19. Uh, again, it's really convenient that it goes all the way up to F24, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna click these two blips right here, and then I'm going to click this last one. And so just so you can see it all at once, it's 2.0, 2.1, and then 2.1, 2.0. This can be any actuation you want. I guess you can make it like, you know, 0.1, but um, I don't wanna fat finger this, so having it on two is what I do. Okay, and then we're just gonna click done. And then since we made our config file, um, have the W jump throw also. And again, you can delete this if you're not gonna use the W jump throw bind. Um, but this is how it works right here. So it makes an alias 
and a second alias, and then it rebinds F19 because F19 is being pressed twice, right? If we look at our bind, it's getting pressed and then it's getting unpressed. And the way Wooting works is that all four of these keys will get pressed at once. And then when you release the key uh, in the same motion, right, you press it down and then you pick it up, uh, F19 will get pressed again. So that's what makes this bind work. All right, and then make sure you hit save to keyboard in the top right here. And then we're gonna go into our game. Okay, and I'm just gonna open up a map here, map DE. Whatever, ancient, who cares? Okay, I'll exec, crack. Okay, so now we're in a practice server. And so since none of these binds will be automatically enabled, uh, you're gonna have to do exec jthrow.cfg, that's what we called it. So I'm gonna do exec jthrow. And then boom, you can see it ran properly here. And then I'm gonna do a W jump throw there. Yep, we see it's landing properly. And then uh, just to show you the jump throw also working. Let's go. And this is just a standard jump throw with spacebar. So if you don't have a Wooting keyboard or any other keyboard that can do dynamic keystrokes in the same way, then this is how you're gonna have to do jump throws going forward if you don't wanna use the in-game mechanic, which is like releasing mouse one. Uh, you can bind keys to actually do this pretty easily. And as an anecdote, this was used probably for like five years while these binds were banned, you know, um, before people just started using the binds and didn't give a fuck. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete these things that I had from the uh, old Wooting profile. So I'm gonna delete this here. Okay, so again, you don't need a Wooting keyboard for this section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this bind right here. And what you're seeing on screen now is me like doing this action that there's no really other way to explain it, but you're just gonna hit N and space at the exact same time. Uh, that's, that's basically it. And then if you wanna do a W jump throw, you just hit all three at the same time. So the way we're gonna bind this is bind space, whoops, my shit is fucked up. So what we're gonna do here is bind space and then uh, plus jump and then bind n minus attack. And then that's all you actually need to do for this config here. Okay, so I'm just gonna unbind n in space really quick just so I can prove that the config works that we just wrote. So I'm gonna do exec j throw, right? Cause that's what we named it. Okay, and then now all I have to do is hold my left click down, right, to pull the grenade pin, and then hit N in space at the same time. Boom, just like that. And so I find this to be much easier than doing the like release thing that Valve has. Um, there's, I really don't agree with this being like a skill check for the game. See, I just fucked it up. Uh, I think that having a bind just makes life so much easier. Oh, and I forgot to mention that if you wanna do a W jump throw out of spawn, you just come here and you hit W, N in space at the same time. So I'm kind of like throwing up Crip with my left hand here and um, hitting W and space and N at the same time, just like that. And I don't even know if I was in the spawn, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna land. Yeah, so uh, that's how you're gonna do W jump throws from now on until they add these binds back because it's really short-sighted in my opinion for Valve to remove these. Uh, I'm glad they removed Snap Tap, but I'm not glad that they removed jump throw binds. It's just kind of a hassle. Um, and you can consider it pay to win now that I have a wooting and uh, I can just hit one button for it. So uh, yeah, thanks Valve, please fix.